There are all kinds of people out there, but some stand out more than others. A high value man is one of those people. He doesn't fit into any one group or category. And evil must be punished. Even in the face of Armageddon. I will not compromise in this. He follows his path, is emotionally smart, has strong self-esteem, and does his own thing. No matter what has happened, no matter what will happen, you never lose your work, you never lose your value. Don't ever forget that. It can be tough to define exactly what makes a man high value, but there are certain things they just don't do. So here are 10 things high value men never do. Let's begin to explore. Number one, they never make excuses or complain. High value men never make excuses or complain about their situation. Complaining puts you in a victim mindset. If you don't like something, you should either change it, leave it, or accept it. Everything else is pointless. A high value man takes action instead of complaining. He doesn't blame others for his problems or make excuses for his efforts. He knows that if he wants something done, he has to do it himself. Complaining and making excuses show weakness and lack of responsibility. It means you're not in control of your actions and not willing to take charge of your life. A true high value man ensures he's never in a position where he has to make excuses. Constant complaining and excuse making are very off-putting and make others uncomfortable. No one, including women, wants to be around someone who is always negative and dragging them down. Number two, they never bad mouth to others. High value men never bad mouth or talk down to others. Being conceited and putting others down not only makes you look bad, but also makes you feel bad. Conceit is a sign of low self-esteem and a way to hide your insecurities by belittling others. There's a big difference between being confident and being conceited. Confidence is based on real accomplishments, while conceit is the false belief that you're better than others. A true high value man is confident, but never talks down to others. He treats everyone with respect, regardless of their social status or achievements. High value men are mindful of their body language and tone of voice when speaking to others. They know that how you say something is just as important as what you say. They don't raise their voice or talk over others because that would make them seem like a bully. People often mistake their confidence for arrogance, but that's not the case. A true high value man knows his worth and doesn't need to put others down to feel good about himself. Number three, seeking a balanced life. Most people will tell you that you need to live a balanced life and might even criticize you for fully committing to your goals. But balance is often an idea promoted by those who want to feel better about being average. If you're happy with being average, that's perfectly fine. Go ahead and live a balanced life. But high value men aim to be exceptional. The idea of being average is unbearable to them. Winners don't worry about having a perfectly balanced life. They focus on their purpose and achieving big goals. High value men pursue excellence, even if it means missing out on other aspects of life. Number four, they are not sweet. High value men aren't sweet guys who try to please everyone. They don't put others above themselves. Instead, they do what they want when they want without apologizing. This doesn't mean they're jerks or disrespectful. They just know how to be selfish for their own goals. They know how to say no to others to take care of their own lives. This doesn't make them bad people. There's a big difference between being a good guy and being sweet. A good guy treats others with respect, but expects the same respect in return. Sweet guys, on the other hand, please others at their own expense and often get walked all over. High value men are usually good guys, but they are never sweet. Number five, they never seek acceptance. High value men never seek acceptance for doing what's right. Life isn't a popularity contest. They do the right thing without being asked and without expecting anything in return. They do it because it's the right thing to do, not for recognition or praise. A true high value man is a great role model. He doesn't seek approval or validation from anyone. He leads by example and never asks for anything in return. While low value men often need praise and recognition to feel good about themselves, a high value man is happy doing good simply because it's right. 
He believes actions speak louder than words and only needs approval from himself. High-value men prefer the honest criticism of one intelligent person over the mindless approval of many. When low-value men start something creative, especially if it's unusual, they often seek approval from people who are unlikely to give it. But a creative life can't be sustained by approval any more than it can be destroyed by criticism. Number six, they don't simp. The game has changed and high-value men can often attract the women they want. That's why most high-value men don't simp for women. A high-value man who understands women won't simp because he knows his worth and maintains self-respect. Maintain self-respect and set clear boundaries. Understand that mutual respect and genuine interest are key in any relationship. Don't compromise your values or self-worth to gain someone's affection. Number seven, they never allow themselves to be taken advantage of. High-value men never allow themselves to be taken advantage of. While they are generous and helpful, they know their worth and won't tolerate being treated poorly. If someone tries to take advantage of them, they will quickly put an end to it. They refuse to be used or manipulated. Many people are experts at taking advantage of others. They are manipulative and self-centered, using anyone they can to get what they want. However, high-value men are not fools. They can spot a manipulator from a mile away and won't tolerate being treated like pawns in someone else's game. Many low-value men let themselves be used just to climb the corporate ladder, submitting to the dominant social hierarchy for status and power. A true high-value man lives outside of this hierarchy. He isn't concerned with status or power and would rather be free than chained to a job he hates. Number eight, they don't ruin their mouth. High-value men know the importance of silence. They understand when it's best to keep quiet and listen, especially when they're meeting someone new. They don't talk too much or too soon. Low-value men, on the other hand, tend to talk endlessly about themselves. This can stem from anxiety, insecurity, or lack of confidence. They're always trying to impress others, but talking too much often leads to mistakes. It's important to learn to not talk too much, as the one who talks the most usually makes the most errors. Number nine, they don't speak ill of others. High value men never speak badly about others or gossip. Even if everyone else is gossiping, they won't join in. Instead, they might observe and make mental notes about those who gossip. Gossiping doesn't show good character. It's just a waste of time. High-value men don't care about getting respect from low-quality people. They're recognized by other high-value men, which makes it hard to pretend to be one of them. Other high-value men don't have to like you, especially if you're in a competitive field. But if you're genuinely high-value, they'll respect you. It's always a good idea to surround yourself with successful people when you're working hard. If you're on your grind, being around winners can motivate and inspire you. Number 10. They don't shy away. High-value men don't run away from problems. We all have problems in life. It's unavoidable. So it's important to get good at solving them. Some men freak out over small issues while others tackle big problems with a smile. You can judge a person's character by the size of the problems they handle. High-value men are always seeking bigger challenges to conquer. This doesn't mean they're looking for trouble or doing reckless things. It means they're focused on achieving bigger goals and are prepared to face larger obstacles that come their way. Thanks for watching. We hope this video provided you with valuable insights into understanding relationships and avoiding common pitfalls. If you enjoy the content, please show your support by clicking the like button and subscribing to this channel. Stay tuned for more empowering content on the She Believes channel. Until next time, believe in yourself and keep shining.